Hi there and welcome back to Box of Shorts where we take uh, difficult concepts from GCSE Sciences and break them down and give you a bit of practice. Just a reminder, uh, if you have your phone on you, turn it off, put it on silent, not vibrate, turn it off, put it on silent, uh, close any tabs that you've got open in front of you, uh, other than this one of course. Uh, you'll need a periodic table, um, I'm going to use the AQA one, uh, you can access your exam boards one online, you just type it into the search bar. You'll need a scientific calculator and also if you want I'll put in the comments uh, a link to a booklet that may help you throughout this unit and I'm going to be using questions from the booklet. We're going to be covering quantitative chemistry in this series uh, which is one of the toughest parts of GCC chemistry. It deals with moles and masses and things like that and we're going to do a whole bunch of different videos and the first video today is on formula mass. Formula mass is a great way to get into the topic because it's really straightforward. If you get your periodic table stop sharing the video there we go right so if you get your periodic table like this each element has two numbers the atomic number and the mass number now the atomic number you should know already represents the number of protons in an atom and the mass number represents the number of protons plus neutrons technically for scientists it's a bit more complicated than that but at GCSC we're okay to say that it just represents the number of protons plus neutrons in one particular atom. Like I said, it is a bit more complicated than that and in a couple of videos time I'll show you how, but for the minute that'll do. There's this thing called the formula mass, which is where if I took say water, which we know is H2O, I've got three atoms in there. I've got a hydrogen, I've got another hydrogen, and I've got an oxygen. Remember, you should know this from uh, your earlier work, especially on balancing equations. And if you're a bit stuck on balancing equations, make sure you go back to my video on balancing equations. I have a foolproof method that works every time. That little two means you've got two hydrogens. One, two hydrogens, one oxygen. When I go to my periodic table, I can find the hydrogen and I can find the oxygen. And I see the hydrogen has a mass number, a relative atomic mass there of one. This one has a relative atomic mass of one and oxygen has relative atomic mass 16. If I add all those together, I get 18. That is called the formula mass, or the relative formula mass. And sometimes we give it a symbol of this capital M and a little r. So capital M and a little r, 18, that's our formula mass. That gets us a mark in the exam. Very straightforward. We'll do a couple more, we'll do a couple more examples. So let's say we had um, lithium sulfide, Li2S. So here I've got one lithium, another lithium, and a sulfur. The mass of lithium is going to be seven. So another seven and 32. And if I get my trusty calculator, I could do this in my head, but I just want to show to you that it's important to use your calculator. 7 plus 7 plus 32 equals 46. It is crucial that you use your calculator in science. You're always allowed to use it. If you're ever even vaguely concerned about mental maths, just use a calculator. And the reason for that is because you're allowed to use one and it's very easy to drop a mark just by um, making a mistake in your calculation. And if you had to use your calculator, you would have been fine. Let's do one more together. And then you can do some practice. So we'll do Ca, CO3, calcium carbonate. What I'd like you to do is have a go at doing that one yourself. If you like, you can pause the video and go back if you can't remember. But I would definitely want you to pause the video now, do CaCO3, and then press play when you're ready to go. So you should only now be listening if you have done this one. Again, as I've said many times before, if you're not gonna do the exercises, there's not a lot of point in you doing these videos. You just won't learn anywhere close to as much. So what have I got here? I've got a CA, I've got a C, and I've got three O's. My CA is 40, my C is 12, 16, 16, 16. Again, yeah, you could have just done this as times three. It's completely up to you. Get my trusty calculator. 40 plus 12 
plus 16, plus 16, plus 16. Just be a nice round 100. If you got that done, if you got that correct, well done. If you didn't, I suggest you go back to my worked examples. If you did get it correct, then I suggest you, I'm um, sorry, let me just share my screen. And now you can do oop, these questions, please. Pause the video, do those questions, and then when you're done, press play again. You should only now be listening to me if you have done these questions, and here are the answers. Mark them, see which ones you got right, got wrong. If you are hopelessly wrong, definitely go back to the beginning of the video, try again. All right, we're gonna make things a bit more complicated now, and we are going to go to examples that contain brackets. So let's say we did CaOH2, calcium hydroxide. Now what this little two means is that everything inside the brackets is multiplied by two. So I'm gonna go and write a Ca, and I know I've got two oxygens, and I've got two hydrogens, like so. My calcium, 40, 16, 16, one, and one, and that should give me 74. Calcium hydroxide, 74. Let's do another one. Let's try, um, let's go for strontium nitrate. SR, NO3, two. Pause the video, try that one yourself, and then press play. So, I've only got one strontium here. Remember that two only goes on what's on the brackets. So I've got an 88. I've got two nitrogens. So nitrogen on my periodic table is 14. And I've got six oxygens. One, sorry, I've skipped a step, which was a bit naughty of me. But I'm just gonna write 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the one strontium, the two nitrogens, and the one, two, three, four, five, six oxygens. I'm gonna get my calculator, 88, 14, 14, and actually I'm just gonna do that in brackets. So I'll do six times 16, and that will give me 212. If you've got that correct, well done. You're ready to carry on with the video. If you didn't, then I suggest you go back and watch the explanation Again, have another go. You can now have a go at these questions for me, please. Pause the video, do the questions, press play. And you should only be listening to my voice now if you've done these questions, and a reminder that if you don't bother doing the questions, you are wasting your time. Here are the answers. If you got all those right, well done. If you didn't, then I suggest you go back. That's the end of this video. In the next video, we'll look at something called a mole. I remind you that if there's a particular topic you want me to cover, just please do let me know in the comments. I'll be trying to do more of these as time goes on. And make sure to watch the next video because this isn't just a standalone, this is part of an entire unit. Thanks again for listening. Oh, and subscribe. Make sure to subscribe because then you get a notification anytime I do a new video. Thanks again for listening.